everybody. This is Joey from Garages and Junkies. I'm here standing beside my Jim Lico standing chest press. I've recently gotten a few questions regarding uh, why did I pick this up? What's the purpose of it? Obviously for chest. Um, but why did I choose this one most of all over other brands like Dynabody, Watts, and so many others? I'm going to point out the first and only negative that I believe is on this machine. Otherwise, I really do actually enjoy it quite a lot. Negative is... There's no foot assist. So when you are back in here and you have this adjusted to where you need it to be so you can get as much depth and range of motion, you are basically in a past parallel point and it really struggles to get in and also to get it off that point. So when you start going heavier, you're really struggling at that point. My little hack is using a little wooden block. That one right there. And then I can start pushing. That is the hard part. And I'll show you right here with just a plate on it. As you can see, it is, the handle are perfect right where I want them, just past parallel. And then I gotta push off. So this little spot right here, when you put more plates on, it is really hard to get going. That is my negative. So I'm not trying to beat a dead horse here, but I really want you to understand the, the, the one negative. It's a pretty big negative. So if you are considering this one and looking at others, this is a factor that you do want to consider when looking at it. Regarding the negative, I don't have the block in. You see where it's at right here. I have three plates on either, on either side, so that's six plates. It is going to get hard on that first rep. This right here was one of the biggest factors besides the backrest of why I chose this machine. These are really well, well made, very tacky rubber grips, and you can position these in any which way you want on here, just like you would on your uprights. So I can change the grip around however I want. So, you, so literally the, the grip variations are almost endless for you for what you were gonna to want to use. You can change this around in any which way you need. Um, it is a fantastic design right there. Well, the, the back rest adjusts, so you can go in further out. That'll adjust your range of motion, but also on the back pad, you are going to notice that it is in a mild V, which actually goes perfectly right dead smack center in your spine. So you actually have a really, really comfortable comfortable position and you get deeper range of motion another huge key factor that not all models have on standing chest presses is this has actually got a inclined foot base so you actually put your feet rest them here you actually lodge the center of your back into that v pattern on the pad and push it's completely taking your legs out of the equation. You're just strictly working your chest. It really, really works quite well.